Ben from basicsystems.com. Today I want to show you how to create an Android dialog with some text fields or with a login form and show you how simple it can be. You don't have to create um, a class that extends a dialog fragment. You can just do it in the same activity in, the, in, in, in a one activity. You can do everything in one activity. So what I want to do right now is just to create a new Android application and this Android application has a name of so I'm just going to say dialog creating them I'm just going to finish everything up to the end okay let's wait for our program to be created so that uh, can start programming now I have my application here so all I can do uh, let's wait for our our, our ID to to, to to load the data okay all right now we have our main activity created so I'm just going to get rid of these classes because they don't make sense in the moment So we have a class, this class, and all we want to do right now, we can create a layout for our dialog. So we want our dialog, so solid. So I need to come here, say new, and we'll say other, Android activity, not Android activity, but hmm, Android layout file. I'm going to say next. Okay. And this layout file is going to continue, or it's going to contain linear layout, vertical layout. Okay, so uh, right now I'm just going to call it login dialog. All right, then I'm going to finish, and I have my dialog here. I want my dialog to contain some some login form. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some large text. Okay, large text here. So this large text, I'm going to customize it, and this should be much better. I'm also going to give it some, so some, some padding, okay. And padding, I'm just going to give it, so sorry, I'm just going to give it 10 density pixels, okay. I have it there, then this I'm going to say, so login dialog and then is android gravity so i don't know android gravity is going to be centered because i want the text to be centered by default something like this the next thing that i'm just going to show you a little bit is something like background so i'm just going to change the background of my header so i'm just going to say android Background equals to hash zero zero. I want it to be black and Android text color equals to hash ff. So I'm supposed to say Android, Android. Oh, yeah. And I have something like this in the moment. Alright, so the only thing I need to add, I need to add a linear layout for this, which is going to be linear layout vertical. So I have it here. So the only thing I need to add here is some padding. So some padding to be 10 dp. Then I'm going to drag to drag drop some some component inside you know my 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 linear layout text fields i'm going to say that to be there i'm also going let me drag password there all right so the next thing that we need to uh, to put is a balloon i'm going to put it there Okay, the text of this button is going to be login, login, so you can give this margin bottom 
to be something like 10 dp okay. that and then I need to put this as an email I need to put this as password ID and ID for this I want to put it as login So the next thing that we need to do, we have just added text. Then we can call it this login. Remember to give this some margin bottom. This one. So, so not that. So I'm sorry. So we need to come here and give it margin. Margin. So sorry. Margin bottom to be turn p. It's 10 density pixels okay yeah, so i think now we are ready to go the only thing that we can add is some hint so you can have some int here and you can say so sorry We are ready to go and what we want to do uh, in the main activity or in the main activity we need to add a button okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to get rid of that then I put a button here uh, so all right so the only thing that I need to change here I don't need to change anything so I'm just going to um, to make sure that This one takes the full size of the screen. Then I'm just going to say so show dialogue and this I'm going to say dialogue. Then in the main activity, then I'm just going to get an instance of the button. We'll say button. So show dialogue button. Then I'm just going to import this. So we need to do some imports here as we continue. So I'm just going to say import Android dot widget dot button. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is to initialize this button in the main in the main when 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 the activity is created. So I'm just going to say something like show dialog button s equals to ID view by ID and I'm just going to say null dot ID dot dot login and something like that and that's all the next thing we need is to set on the click listener for this so show dialog dot set on click listener this is going to be this then I need to implement implements so view dot all click listener mm. then i need to import something here so import android dot view dot view then i need to override some methods because this is 
with listeners so probably so i just need to put override and i'm just going to say public void on click view view right so now that we have this view we can do some things with this view all right we need to come here and say view view so something like that then we need to say this dot view is equals to view all right so the next thing that we need to do we need to get the layout inflator so i'm just going to say mm, so layout inflator in creator layout inflator inflator and then i need to come here and initialize the layout inflator what is layout inflator to avoid uh, narrow point ex exemption you need to initialize all your variables so i'm just going to say inflator is equals to layout is equal to main main activity dot this dot get layout inflator and we have it there okay we have layout inflator have been started the next thing we can use the inflator that we have so we can say mm, so before this we need to say something here we need to switch so we need to say switch view dot get id now i'm going to say case uh, dot id dot dot login i'm going to break okay. so the next thing that i need to do is to show is first of all to to inflict earlier so you go say view the view that we have here is equals to to inflate dot inflate and what do we want to inflate we want to inflate all dot layout dot login dialog and then we want to put this now because we want to put that now because we want to create a dialog okay now to show the dialog we need to say alright dialog so sorry so it should be a lot dialog dot builder so builder is equals to new alert dialog dot builder and this is going to be main it's going to take the activity to this okay. right. so the next thing we need to say is builder dot set view and it's going to be view right the next thing that we need to do is to say builder dot dot show so we've shown the builder but something that i want to show if you want to initialize all the edit text buttons in the builder in the dialog you can you need to use the view that you've created here so suppose you wanted to initialize something like edit text okay let me just uh, come here and create a variable called edit text so i'm just going to say private sorry edit text and i'm just going to say we had an email okay so then i need to import that then i will come here and i will initialize my edit text probably here okay or yeah i can initialize this here so you can just come here and say email is equals to view because now you're using the view and the layout has been inflated so view also sorry so we need to say we need first of all to cast to edit text and you can just come here and say view so sorry view dot fight view by id r dot id dot email email dot email something like that and you can say string email text is equals to 
So we don't need to do stuff here, we don't need to insure it because of time. So then the next thing that we need is to show that dialog. Let's run our program and see what is going to be a result. So run our Android application and we have our emulator running here so we are expecting it is going to work properly. Okay. <laughs> So we are still waiting for our emulator to give us a result for this. Okay. Okay, we have our problem here, but unfortunately it has stopped. Let's see why because it means we have an error somewhere. Let's just see this error. So oh, I can just get rid of these see yeah. other builder. Oh, uh, I made a mistake because you see I'm using the login button instead of show dialog button. So I'm sorry for that. Anyway, um, not that. So, so I made a mistake anyway because I had the dialog. I don't know. So I'm just go to the main activity. So I just made a mistake because uh, this should be show dialog. That's so why I made a mistake, so sorry for that. So I need to come here and say show dialog, and I need to come here and say dot show dialog. Anyway, it should be working right now, so let's just see. Let's wait for our program to be executed. Okay. So now you can see our program is running. If we click this, uh, we have our dialog here, and you can see our dialog has some has some have some edit text that we've created. So thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video tutorials. Goodbye.